Today we're going to learn about what encoders are, why we need them, and how to implement them in the virtual robot simulator. So, what is an encoder? An encoder is a sensor that measures the distance a motor has rotated. We can use this sensor to have our mo motors move until they have rotated a certain distance. This can be useful for having your robot drive specific distances across the field or moving a claw a specific distance. Here you can see an encoder wire conveying position information for a real motor. Without encoders, your robots can only move for certain periods of time. The example code that appears when you open the virtual robot simulator shows this time-based movement. As you can see here, the powers of the front left and front right wheels are set to 1, and the robot sleeps for 1,000 milliseconds, and then these powers are set to 0. Therefore, the drivetrain motors are powered for 1,000 milliseconds and then stop, causing the robot to move forward for one second. So let's see how we can implement our encoders into our virtual robot simulator programs. So first I'm going to take out the time period of the sample program that appears because we no longer want to move for a set period of time, we want to move for an encoder distance. After that, I'm going to go to actuators and DC motor to set the target position of my left motor. So you want to set your target position to make it so this is the desired encoder value we want our left motor to rotate to. So right now we're going to set that to 1,000. So we want our le front left motor to rotate until it has a value of 1,000. So in order to accomplish this rotation until it reaches a certain value, we're going to use a while loop. So while its current position is less than the desired target position we set, we want it to continue to rotate. So therefore, we're going to get a comparator and make it less than. And then we have to read the DC motor's current position and then see while the front left motor's current position is less than its target position, which we already set above. And then in here, we just want to wait until it gets to that value and then set the power to zero. I'm going to put a very small weight in there because loops can get glitchy if you have zero weight in between them, so 10 milliseconds. Therefore, this will continue until the front left motor's position that we read with its encoder is equal to its target position that we want it to be. And then after that, it'll set the power of the front left and front right motor to zero. We're just using the front left motor to measure its encoder position and stop. You could use the right motor. You could try to average them. But we're just going to use the front left motor in this example. So as you can see, it moved forward 1,000. Um, we can try to make this further, like we can try to double the distance it moves forward. Or if we want to, we can um, even make it move even further forward than this. So as you can see, you can really just change this distance to make it move whatever distance you want. Look, now it moved even further. And we can keep going to make it move further and further. And this is, can be really useful in your programs to have your robots actually move for a distance rather than a set time. This is especially useful if you want to operate mechanisms like a claw or a lift that you need to move for a certain distance. And as you can see, we can keep making our robot move further and further. Thank you for listening.